right, you guys, welcome back. We are doing Plant of the Week 5, Week 5. So thank you so much for stopping in. I'm excited to share with you what is actually not a plant. It's going to be a palm. It is one of my favorite palms to work with. I feel like I say that all the time because, you know, palms and plants are all my favorites. And we are back in my front yard again. This is a triple bottle palm. I absolutely love this as an understory tree. It is rare in Florida to find a palm tree that is not going to be planted at one size and then you blink and the next day is 20 foot tall. This palm tree grows six inches per year. So super, super, super slow grower. And then it um, matures out to about 10 to 12, depending on the location. So I've got some, palm, some bottle palms in the back that have matured out to 12 feet singles. And I'm hoping that this one is about a, 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 about a 10 to 12 foot range on, on this one. I love this tree because not only can you put it just about anywhere, you can make it an understory tree as I have it here underneath my coconut palm. It really does a nice job of giving me that layer effect in a rather tight spot right along my walkway here. Now, um, I can place this tree. You can see I'm inches from the edge of my walkway here and I'm not at all concerned about it because the roots are so fibrous, so small on this tree that I do not have to worry about it lifting up my walkway. You can put this near pools, you can put this near um, paper patios, travertine, anything along those lines and these guys are not going to fight you on it. So this is a great tree. I'm so sorry I'm losing my voice you guys. <laughs> Seems like this week's videos. I got my wisdom teeth taken out uh, last week, so I was all puffy chipmunk chief and chipmunk cheek. And today, I'm losing my voice. So I really appreciate you guys. You're gonna have to comment, True Gardener, because you've really, you've really been through the gamut with me this week on these this bundle of videos that I'm doing with Bryce. So, but I definitely want to get them out and share a few things with you. Um, this tree um, is a triple, of course. However, um, most of the time I use uh, bottle palms, they are a single variety. I think they're perfect for both locations. They're great for courtyards, great for small areas, great for pool areas. So do not be afraid to plant this tree. Um, I've also planted them inside pool planter islands, knowing how slow they grow and how many years you get um, of a cool frond in the pool area. Um, this, because it's a triple, it has a little bit bigger of a canopy. Um, but when they're singles, what's great about them is each each trunk only has about five or six fronds on it, so it's not gonna be one of those trees or those palms that, gosh, is just nothing but fronds. It just takes over and it blocks whatever's behind it. You're definitely gonna be able to see what's behind it, but it gives you that graceful tropical leaf on those fronds. I just, I love the way they arch. My husband does not like to be hit in the face with palms as he's walking through here, so he did a nice little MacGyvering here by pulling up this limb until this tree gets of size and it's up and over. But I think once it's up and over, because I have patience, you guys, I know what it's gonna do. Once it's up and over, what a great arching feel it's gonna do from my pond area and coming up the walkway and coming up the entrance. I just think it's gonna be absolutely stunning in that particular spot, so, so I'm willing to wait. Um, fun fact on these trees, now they are native to Madagascar, um, but this, as you can see that this new frond that's coming out, it's kind of got a hard shell to it. And what's fantastic about that is it knows it's a little guy in a big palm world. And so it's got to really produce this hard shell. That way it can push through leaf foliage and, and frond tree and other big fronds and other trees through a forest in order for that, um, for it to grow. So it really does, um, it's, it's a kind of a formidable palm. And second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I don't know where I've lost track of the tips, but another great fact of it is that it does not have any thorns. So those, those of you guys who love the idea of like pygmy date palms and how small and chunky they stay, but they have those giant thorns that you have to fight with, these guys do not have the thorns. This plant or this tree shows that it can be planted in the full sun. It can be planted in the shade. Um, however, I have noticed planting it in full sun, it does bleach the tree out a little bit. So um, if you can plant it as an understory tree, those leaves are so, or those fronds are so much greener in, in general. Um, that little bit of coverage that, that that tree provides during the middle of the day offers, look at how just nice and green these leaves are. I mean, it's just a stunner. I just love, it. don't, it's not like, like the Louisville doors. I just love, I love the look of that leaf. It's just so charming. Now you'll notice a little bit of spotting that I have here. 
and my yard has a natural potassium deficiency. Um, I do use 8212 as a um, as a fertilizer on it. Palm Gain 8212. I'm very happy with that product. University of Florida recommends it, and it's a it's a great slow release product to work with. Um, however, I do douse it um, a couple times a year with a drench. It's a potassium um, drench that I will put on just the base of the tree. I'll mix about an ounce of it with a gallon of water and, and put it around the base. And then I also will use, and Bryce, you can post a picture of that, but it's a, um, it's a nutritional spray for palms. You can put it on a hose end bib. So if you don't want to do the drench and you've got several palms, it's a super easy way to do it. You just kind of put it on the hose end. You put a couple catfuls in there and then you just spray the whole tree with that, with the hose end um, bib with that nutritional spray. You can spray this tree all around the trunk, definitely up into the inset of the tree. Early mornings are ideal to use that product because that's when the tree's pores are open. So you're really going to get a great benefit from that. But spray it inside as much as you can. I spray that tree, obviously not on a windy day, but I spray the center of that tree and, and spray all the way down to the trunk. And I tell you, it greens up a tree faster than anything I've ever seen. Within two weeks, it's everything is really, you can see all of that green just come to life. It's just amazing. So a lot of times, um, uh, places that have garden tours, and um, even when I entertain for a big group, I'll go through and spray everything down. That way it shows off the best it can show off during that time period. But, And you can use it anytime. You can use it in the winter, you can use it in the summer, you can use it once a month if you want to. But I end up only pulling it out once or once or twice a year, you know, most most of the time, twice a year, because um, I really want to really want the palms to show off and, and gleam. Um, I think I mentioned the companion trees that you can plant this with. I planted mine in front of triangle palms because the triangle fan palms are so nice and flat, and then this is so wide and arching that they, they show off so well together. You can plant them underneath coconut palms, and this tree will never ever outgrow, obviously the coconut palms, foxtail palms. This is definitely what you would consider a centerpiece tree. It's definitely what, what's going to be the focal point tree or the dense tree in the garden. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can mention to you guys, if there's anything that I've missed about this bottle palm, something that you may be aware of that you might want to share with our gardening community, then please stick it in the comments down below. Um, you know, I'm, I've been in this business a long time, but it seems like I learn something every, every year. It amazes me how much um, knowledge that you gain the more and more and more you are around these plants and trees. So please share your knowledge and I know we all appreciate it. Um, other than that, comment True Gardener uh, because if you made it through the video, you're a true gardener like me. And then um, check us out on Instagram, like and subscribe, and I will see you next week at our very next plant of the week. Woo. Thank you.